back to Johns Hopkins. We have head coach Tim Cole and freshman Natalie Aston and Simone Bliss. Um, coach, first of all, congratulations on an excellent season. Um, just opening thoughts on the match tonight. Uh, I think we were quite yellow light for a big stretch of the, the match and uh, showed most in our serving. Uh, there were probably some feelings of relief on uh, the SWAT side that uh, not only did we miss a lot, but uh, the serves that we did put in uh, were on the softer side. And to their credit, they handled them well, ran a nice offense, diversified well, uh, did a nice job uh, finding options other than uh, Den Braven and Wallace, who have carried them so far. Uh, huge tip of the cap to Sarah Gerard. She's the heart and soul of that team. Really brought so much fight, so much fire. So SWAT's energy was terrific. They had great fan support. Uh, we had uh, some nice support as well. Um, it was a nice match between two teams that have seen each other a lot. And, uh, you know, it stinks to lose, uh, in some people's perspective, a lot less to us. We're, we're really not too wrapped up in that. Uh, but this was an opportunity for us to spend more time together, and that is the loss, and that is what we, we are feeling some, some sorrow about. And... Uh, most of all, it stinks to lose when you don't bring your best. Uh, but that's that's something to learn from and something to put in our bank uh, for the future. Yeah, this is one. This question is for both Simone and Natalie. Uh, obviously, both freshmen. You know, this is the first you know first season of collegiate volleyball. What do you take away from this experience to get to this point and to be able to take away and use it for the rest of your collegiate career and going into the next year? Mm, I guess that. Uh, well, our program is really like just a big family, and that's a, a big change from regular, like from like high school volleyball or before you get to college volleyball. Our program is like especially unique in that we're not off the court and on the court. We're a family. We take care of each other, um, are on each other, make sure we're all about our mission and what we our goals are and what we really want to do. And so, that's like my biggest takeaway is that um, all the ways that I can do everything that I can to be all in for our team mission. So, yeah. yeah, and just even before season and preseason had even started, like we were already talking to each other and building our relationships, and that just makes it so much harder to not see each other every day. And yeah. um, just the gratitude and love we have for each other is something that I'll never forget. Yeah, because um, you talked a little bit about it, like obviously you're serving, and really in the, in the, these all th these. All three of these games, it maybe hasn't been quite where you've been all season. Uh, is that just because you're facing better teams, better service teams, or it was a little bit of what you weren't doing this weekend? Yeah, you know, I think it maybe is more politically correct or fashionable to be like, those other teams really neutralized us, but uh, we came out with our tail between our legs for the last three sets and had been walking on thin ice. Uh, a lot of errors and a lot of soft serves, like I said pretty yellow light most of the time uh some some spurts of, of good quality and uh that's a part of the game too you know our opponents weren't green light every moment of every that you know this is college athletics and uh we're an elite program and the fluctuation in everyone's performance is what makes it so uh sensational to watch sometimes you, you don't know what's going to happen and that's part of the joy of it and part of the growth opportunity for us to strive even when we're not feeling great even when things aren't rolling our way so uh, there, there are things that I can do differently to help you know promote a competitive environment in the gym uh, a lot of it you know might go under the large umbrella of just experience you might say Liz certainly is a champion on the line you know my mind goes back to last year uh, in the fourth set of the NCAAs against Juniata, you know, she continued to rip the ball and, and she was great today as well. Uh, she still couldn't quite get it going as, as much as she has earlier and I think against SWAT in particular, they were pretty used to her serve, uh, but she also just did bring her best quality. And that's all right, there's variance, there's fluctuation in performance. Uh, the other thing that I, I'd really like to note about the, the team's play is there was no down emotion, despite you know a, a yellow light approach. We weren't sad on the court. We weren't mad on the court. We were just trying to get some traction and get going. And uh, I'm proud of us for that fight. I'm proud of us for that grit. That's what we're about. Yeah, you touched upon it a little bit. Obviously, you know you've been in the last couple of years now. What do you take away as a coach from this experience? You know to get to this level to get to this point. 
you know, there's there's one thing, which is your quality of play, and then there's the other, how far you advance in the tournament. And there are lots of great teams that aren't fortunate enough to advance every season. Um, and we've been one of those teams in the past. I thought we've been a great team with a near 500 record a few years ago. Uh, we've been a great team and had a few bumps and bruises at different, you know, inopportune times. There's never a great time for, for an injury. Uh, but as, as uh, people like to say, no one feels sorry for you. The other team doesn't feel sorry for you when that happens. Uh, they, they sense blood in the water. So uh, there's really nothing new learned about the experience. We're just striving for a high level of play and to be, as Simone said, a close-knit family, uh, 365. So a kind of an amendment to Natalie's comment. Don't worry, you'll see your teammates every day still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.